Shalom, shalom, everyone. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. This is a day the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad. If you are coming across this channel for your first time, God bless you. This particular prophetic word says, this guy is coming to your house tomorrow with a red box. I take it again, this particular guy is coming to your house tomorrow with a red box. Hallelujah. I know when a lot of people come through a particular prophetic word like this, they will just be specific. If they see anybody that is not a guy, they will just like, this might not be the person. But when they see somebody that is not holding the red box, they will say, this is not the person. Calm down. I just pray we listen to the word from the beginning to the end in the name of Jesus. Before we take the prophetic word, I use this opportunity. If you are coming across this channel for your first time, God bless you. Welcome to Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. I'm the man God is using mightily to bless us. Become part of this family. As you click on the subscription button, like this prophetic word. At the end, you're standing the gap to bless someone for in Jesus' name. If you have not subscribed, do well to subscribe to become part of this family. Thank you so, so much, family, for subscribing. Thank you for liking and thank you for sharing. In the mighty name of Jesus. This particular prophetic word is a preparation. The Lord released this word like for someone to get ready. It's a word that is coming to prepare your mind because there is somebody that is about to come to your house and this person is coming with a red box. Hallelujah. This particular red box is not something you need to focus on physically. The Bible says when God was about to destroy the people of Nineveh, he sent Jonah. Hallelujah. And Jonah went and proclaimed the word of the Lord that in 40 days, the city will be destroyed. But the people made up their mind. They came before the Lord with broken hearted. They asked for mercy. And God forgave the people of Nineveh. Then when God was about to bless Abraham, the Lord sent three angels in the form of man. So whenever a destiny helper or whenever a messenger is being sent to us, we need the spirit of discernment to be able to know that this one is being sent by God. But, but if we only want to see things before we believe, we might miss our destiny helper. The people, the people of Nini realized that, yes, what Jonah was talking of is true. They have seen, they repented. Abraham knew that he was waiting for God. Hallelujah. So he was expecting already. There are people right now, there are things that you have been expecting from God. Praise Master Jesus. So the Bible says, for the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. So whenever you come before any prophetic word or any word of God, you must be expectant. Now let this be for me. Is this what I've been believing and asking from God? That is the first thing. When Abraham saw the three angels, the Bible said Abraham fell down on his knees and received the prophecy with all his heart, would that not doubt? If Abraham was to size them, Abraham would say, no, I made a covenant with God, not with angels. If it might turn, let God himself speak to me. But Abraham humbled himself and accepted this word. And according to the time and season how the angel prophesied, Abraham was blessed. Now, when prophet Elijah met the widow that was about to eat the last flower, with the son and die. This was a messenger sent to the widow. This widow made up her mind that she's going to eat the last flower with the child and die. But when she met the prophet, when the prophet met this widow, the prophet was very hungry and thirsty. The prophet said, can you give me a cup of water? This particular woman was passing through a lot. At that particular point of time, it only takes people that, that, that really love God to be able to respond to the prophet from their heart. Imagine yourself, you don't have any money, then somebody walk up to your house and say, give me one dollar, and the one dollar is everything you have. How are you going to feel? A lot of us will insult. A lot of us will like try to show the, 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 the bad side of us because things are worse. How can somebody show up instead of trying to worsen our situation? That is exactly what happened. But the Bible says, this woman gave a cup of water to a prophet and the prophet asked the woman, please, I'm hungry. Can you bring me a loaf of bread? This woman said, this is the only thing. 
Oh my God, if it was now our, our days, a lot of people would say, so what a greedy man. But yet, the woman went and bet the, the, the bread, brought it to the man of God, and gave it to the prophet. Hallelujah. This is how the life of this woman changed. That was the day she made up her mind to die, to eat the remaining flour with the child and stay with, with, with hunger until they, jar, they, they died. But when she met the prophet of God, the prophet of God changed everything. So family, I have used us a lot of examples in the Bible. The Lord says there is somebody under the sound of my voice. You have been waiting and expecting to receive something very important from God. This has been your prayer point. You're crying to God every day. Father, I need direction. Lord, reveal to me. Send me my angel. This has been your, your prayer. The Lord said he's sending an angel to you, to your house. Get ready. This angel might not only come, come with, a, with a red box, with a black box. Listen, God can still send that angel in form of anything. Just get ready. This word is coming to prepare your mind. For in Jesus' mighty name. God bless each and every one. I receive a message, a lot of people sending me a message on email. Man of God, how can we be a blessing to you? God has been using you in blessing a lot of people. Oh my God, I want to use this opportunity. As the prophet met the widow, this widow that was about to die and said, give me a cup of water and the remaining flour. That was a sacrifice for, from this widow. If this channel has been a blessing to you, rather than sending me a message on email and you want to bless this ministry, oh my God, or raise an altar, you want to give a seat, you can do that through Super Thanks. You can do that through PayPal. If you click on this platform, on this YouTube channel, you see a ministry PayPal account, whatever that the Lord lay in you. Oh my God, God bless you. For in Jesus' mighty name, thank you so, so much for working, watching family. I love you so much. If you were blessed by this word, please do where to like, share, and subscribe. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.